In this seminal Disney animated film, the villainously vain queen famously possesses a magic mirror. To call on it, she says mirror mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all. Except that's not the line in the Disney movie. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? Are there multiple universes out there? Do we have different versions of ourselves in different dimensions? Well, after today's video, you are for sure going to believe in parallel universes. From the truth about Mona Lisa's smile to inconsistencies in the SpongeBob movie. Let's talk about these and more only in today's video. Top 10 photos that prove a parallel universe exists. Starting off this countdown, we have SpongeBob. Who here is a fan of the sponge that lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. So if you answered yes, then have you seen the 2004 SpongeBob movie? The one where the two goofy goobers, SpongeBob and Patrick, set out to return King Neptune's crown to save Mr. Krabs, and then Plankton tries to take over and yeah. Well, if you've seen this, then in one of the final scenes, there's this whole musical number where SpongeBob rocks out to Goofy Goober. At one point, he bursts into a wizard outfit in white boots while rocking on a guitar. Well, Take a look at this image. Do you remember SpongeBob playing on a white electric guitar or a weird peanut one? Let me know. I remember him holding a white electric guitar, but apparently that's not right. And he always had a peanut guitar. No, just no, that's not right. We fully switched universes cause SpongeBob never had that guitar, I swear. Moving on to number nine, we have Cheez-Its. But apparently, that tasty cheese cracker is not called Cheez-Its, it's Cheez-It. Either I've been saying it wrong my entire life or this is proof that we live in a parallel universe. Like, do you remember it being Cheez-It or Cheez-Its? Cause honestly, Cheez-It doesn't make sense to me. It needs to be plural because there's more than just one cracker in the box. Now I'm just getting mad here, but someone's out there playing with us, I swear. Moving on at number eight, we have these circle clouds. Ever wondered what life is like in another universe? Well, they might just have circular clouds. Yeah, you heard me. Look at this real image of a circular cloud. Honestly, if I saw that, I would panic thinking that the end is near. Like, it's cool, but also, it's not right. Like, that's a glitch in the matrix or something. Mother nature is glitching. Or maybe that's what normal clouds look like in a parallel universe. Who knows at this point. In our seventh spot, we have the twins. Except the guys in this photo aren't twins. They're not even related. Yet they somehow dressed up in identical outfits and appeared at the same place, both reading newspapers. How creepy is that? Like they even have the same haircut and hairline. Like, what is going on? I mean, the sweater is identical. Same brand and logo and color. What are the odds? The only difference is that the man on the left is wearing black socks and the man on the right is wearing white socks. One of them is from a parallel universe for sure. It's the same dude, just our universe is glitching or merging with other universes or something like that. Coming in at number six, we have the green KFC. So we all know that the KFC colors are red and white. Right? Well, not at this KFC location. Since when does KFC have a green building? Hell no, that makes me uncomfortable. Even Colonel Sanders is wearing a green apron thing instead of a red one. That's not normal. That KFC is in another universe, I swear. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the photo glitch. Okay, someone needs to explain this photo to me. It's not edited at all. The girl just somehow appeared to be gray in the photo. Like, it looks fake, am I right? How is that possible? Unless her goal was to be a gray Santa. This one just hurts my brain. Like if anyone can genuinely explain this photo, then let me know in the comments below. Like how did she appear colorless when everyone else in the photo is in color? I feel like I'm tripping out. Moving on at number four, we have C-3PO. Who here is a fan of Star Wars? Hit that thumbs up button if you are. Well. A lot of diehard fans were shook when they found out that C-3PO does not have an entirely gold body. That's right, apparently he's always had one silver leg. Okay, okay, then explain this to me. How come when I was little I had a C-3PO figurine that had two gold legs, okay? If someone explain that to me. What do you remember though? Apparently, a ton of fans just remember C-3PO being entirely golds. 
So is our memory failing us or are we universe jumping? <sighs> In our third spot, we have the Berenstein Bears. Okay, disclaimer. Buckle your seatbelts because I'm about to get heated and passionate for this one. So, do you remember the classic kids book being the Baron Steen Bears or the Baron Stain Bears? Because I remember it being the Baron Steen Bears, spelled S T E I N. But no, I've been living a life of lies and deceit because apparently it's always been the Baron Stain Bears. Stain, S T A I N. What? But I'm not the only one. Thousands of others remember it being the Berenstein Bears. So, theory goes that there are parallel universes out there. In this case, we have the Steen universe and the Stain universe. We lived in the Steen universe during the 90s when the books were out, but then later on, we somehow shifted into the Stain universe. Somehow, the universe ended up overlapping with ours, which is why we remember the Steen books, because they were real, but just in another universe. It's just driving me insane. Like, it was the Baron Steen Bears. Okay, why would it be Stain? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, okay? Like if you agree, like if you agree. And at number two, we have the Looney Tunes. Here's another one that will drive you mad. Or should I say, <laughs> drive you loony. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop with the dad jokes. But do you remember the classic cartoon being Looney Tunes, T-O-O-N-S? or Looney Tunes, T-U-N-E-S. I remember it being Tunes, spelled with two O's. And that makes sense because it's a car tune. But no, apparently it's Tunes, like a music tune, which makes no sense again. Hello, it's a cartoon, not a music tune. I just wanna go back to the Tunes universe, like the T-O-O-N-S universe, because everything just makes more sense there, okay? They probably don't have COVID there, just saying. And in our number one spot today, we have the Mona Lisa. Okay, this one really tripped me out. But do you remember the Mona Lisa having a little smirk on her face or a serious face? I remember her always having a slight smirk, not a huge smile, but just a little something something, you know? But in high school, I was taught that she was serious and she didn't smile in the portrait. But get this. In a movie from 1931, it shows the Mona Lisa smiling. This movie is called The Theft of the Mona Lisa. Here's a clip from it. Now, of course, they didn't use the real Mona Lisa for the film. But wouldn't you think that they would get an exact replica for the film? meaning that she had a smile. Because why all of a sudden would they use a Mona Lisa where she's smiling? Unless back in the day she was smiling in the portrait and then somehow we're now in a universe where in the painting she didn't smile, okay? But that's not all. In a 1962 Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, sorry, episode titled Louvre Come Back to Me, we can also again see the Mona Lisa smiling. I can tell you chaps one thing, it's not always easy to hold this smile. In the clip, she literally says, I can tell you one thing, it's not always easy to hold a smile. Bam! It's just proof that at one point, the Mona Lisa did have a smile. You see how worked up I get over this? Something's, something's going on here. We're in a parallel universe. It's tripping me out. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this, okay? It's crazy, like if you agree. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 secret service tactics that will shock you. Aaron Johnson, oh my God, is it Aaron Taylor Johnson? Like the really hot actor? I wish it was him. Anyway, he commented, you forgot about the football. A briefcase handcuffed to an agent that has nuclear launch codes? I don't think that's real because if that got into the wrong hands, pfft, literally. Uh, so maybe they do have it, but I don't think they carry it around with them. Why would they do that? No, I don't know. I'm a six commented, let's appreciate the content uploaded so often. Thank you, thank you very much. We work hard here, so hit that thumbs up button for us because we work super hard for you guys. Justin Cameron commented, Lindsay for president. No, I'm sorry. First off, I'm Canadian, so I would be prime minister, not president. 
Second, uh, no. No. Too much responsibility. I'll be the entertainment. Okay? I'll be the entertainment. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya.